Many of your children went trick-or-treating on Halloween, and many more will this weekend. 22 News I-Team reporter Ryan Walsh went out on Halloween to discover what's being done to protect your kids from sex offenders. There aren't any laws restricting sex offenders from giving out candy or opening their doors, but there could be certain restrictions. Level 2 and Level 3 sex offenders are considered more likely to reoffend. Some live in your neighborhood. There are more than 570 Level 2 or Level 3 sex offenders in Springfield, more than 130 in Holyoke, 85 in Greenfield, 75 in West Springfield, and 68 in Northampton. On Halloween and Halloween weekend, your kids, without knowing it, may be ringing their doorbells. State Representative Cheryl Coakley Rivera is working on a bill that would not allow sex offenders to lure a child with an offer like candy. This is a perfect opportunity for them. This is kind of like their holiday. There isn't anything on the books that restricts sex offenders from doing any of their normal daily activities on Halloween, but the parole and probation offices told the 22 News I team they get the message out. Caitlin Christie, the Massachusetts Parole Board Chief of Staff, told the 22 News I team they sent out an internal memo to all parole officers to remind sex offenders to not engage in trick or treating and they have to be home between 5 p.m. and 6 a.m. on Halloween. Parole officers also made unannounced visits to every sex offender on parole. Korea Holland with the Massachusetts Probation Office told the 22 News I team some probation officers make unannounced home visits. Others sent a letter to sex offenders warning them not to turn on their porch lights or open their door for kids trick-or-treating. I mean, it's very, very hard for probation or parole to monitor all the sex offenders. But the point is, they shouldn't be out. The 22 News I team stopped by more than 15 Level 3 sex offenders' homes or apartments on Halloween, and none of them were violating those provisions. Lights were out, and no significant Halloween displays were spotted. To find out where sex offenders live in your area, log on to WWLP.com. And a 22 News I team follow-up on a story we did this summer on a Level 3 sex offender. He was working at a kiosk in the Holyoke Mall then. According to the sex offender's updated work address, he no longer works at the mall. I'm Ryan Walsh, working for you with the 22